Ladies and gentlemen, welcome. My name is EvilGuy13 and we are back for Caster Challenges, episode 3 of 2013. And today, I am joined by a very special guest. Please welcome, Zoya. Hey man, how's it going? It is going well. We are already prepared for a game, so just quickly, for people who may not know who you are, please tell them a little bit about yourself. Well, I'm Zoya. I am the caster for Light Esports. Uh, I've done two dream hacks, a lot of play him stuff, and yeah, I'm now doing this, and I'm very excited. All right, sounds good. And just so everyone knows, have we spoken much about the show, or have we done any kind of practice beforehand? No, not at all. All right, that sounds good. So, I'm just about to ask the players if they are ready, and then we'll be getting into the game. If you have watched the show before, you will know if I want to give you a challenge, I will say stop. I will give you a challenge, but until then, cast in your normal style. Alright, I watched like the first 30 seconds of the In Control one, and then I heard you say something like, it's better if you have no clue what's going on, so I stopped watching it. Yep, this is true. Right, so, we are heading into the game, I will drop myself onto your vision once we are in, and then begin casting your normal style, and I will say stop when I have a challenge. Alright. Well, this is one of my personal favorite maps. Uh, Alkalon Waste, and I believe it's just a remake of the Wings of Liberty version of Alkalon Flats. Uh, it took me a while to get used to the new name, but uh, it's still a very fun map. We have our, our two completely random strangers that we pulled from Battle.net. The infamous Pedo Bear, Pedo Bar, whichever you like to call him, playing the random green color. Mufflon playing the red Protoss, and here we go, spawning in that top left-hand corner position. We do have Mufflon as the red Protoss. And in the bottom right-hand corner of the map, we have the green Zerg, Petobar, having the interesting number sign in his name. Interesting that he was able to do that. I uh, wonder, I'm assuming he's from EU, but don't know for sure. I wonder if anyone can get those in those names. That's actually really cool, but uh, PVZ, Alkalon Flats. We'll have to see where they want to go with this. The metagame on Heart of the Storm is actually pretty interesting right now. We're starting to see uh, Forge Fast Expand actually start to make a comeback. At first, everyone was doing gateway openers, rushing for that Mothership Core, doing as much harassment with that as possible. People really didn't know how to deal with that, but now people have you know started to transition back towards that standard Forge Fast Expand play, and then moving towards you know the Stargate play. Everyone loves the Oracle okay, right now. Okay, stop. You must pimp yourself and everything you do in a most subtle way possible. <laughs> <laughs> well, uh, as the Zerg player down here is mining minerals, getting as much money as possible, myself, I have loads of money. You know, I usually make around $100 from Twitch TV every two or three months. It's pretty awesome. Uh, I'm a pretty pretty big badass like that. And we, we have our Protoss player up here throwing down those pylons. Speaking of throwing down, I throw down all the time as well. And, you know, I'll, I'll play StarCraft every night. People can come watch me over at twitch.tv slash starcraft squad. It's pretty awesome. And uh, here we go. Spawning pool is going up as well. And oh, speaking of going up, I tweet up tweets all the time at twitter.com slash zoyalite. It's pretty awesome there. Lots, lots of stuff goes down there as well. And uh, yeah, pretty standard timings from both these guys. Double gas being taken. Speaking of gas, don't have any right now. Also a good thing about me. So if you want to date me, that's fine too. Don't have to worry about that, you know, interrupting any dates. Okay, stop. You may only speak in questions. So I wonder what this Protoss player is going to do next. When is he going to get his Cybernex core? Will it be when his gateway finishes right away? What tech path will he be going? As for our Zerg player, when's he going to get our gas? So what time will he get his lair tech? Why is this so difficult? Why is there a pylon block at this natural base? Is it worth it with that 100 minute delay? Here we go. <laughs> Why is he taking his third base over here as opposed to down here? When will the Protoss player take his Nexus? Okay, stop. In the style that you have won the lottery. Ah! <laughs> okay, stop. Ah! Right, in the style of your favourite cartoon character, do not tell us who it is. The first person to guess it in the comments will get a shout out on the next video.
Um, uh, I'm trying to think of who my favorite cartoon character is right now. I can't believe how hard this is. I wouldn't even know how how to do their voice. Hmm. Do you want me to skip? Yeah, I'll skip this one because I'm stumped. All right, I'm you, stumped. All right, you must sell the game to the viewer. Well. You know, as as we're progressing through this game, it's getting much more awesome. As you can see, we have links poking here, and there's nothing more intensive than that. I mean, yeah, there's nothing more fulfilling in your life than harassing a player's gateway. It really, you can spend lots of time doing that. And then we got our Protoss player here getting his Force Oracle. You know, if you're down in your life, you need something to pick you up, you really want to just fill the time void, build a Stargate, get that first Oracle. It really, really is something that will change your entire life. And as for Queen. I mean, sometimes you're just not in the greatest mood, you know, you just want to quit work, you want to go home. Queens are really good at switching up your lifestyle, throwing a little pizzazz in there, really gets, you know, your momentum going, and it'll get you out of that rut in your life right now, especially throughout video games. There's nothing like a queen throughout every other game in the world right now. It's pretty interesting to see, and Evolution Chambers, don't get me started on what Evolution Chambers will do for you. I mean, if you're looking for something to you know, invest in. This right here would be one of the best buys you can get by far. Okay, stop. Minerals. You may not use any building or unit names. You must describe them as if to someone who has never played the game before. We got these little critters moving around here, getting a, as much uh, blue stuff as possible. Uh, the big blob is currently pulsating, going to its next tier in the evolution. As we can tell, the big spherical orb is currently just spinning there. There doesn't seem to be any change right now except with this little progress bar thing. We'll have to see what happens later on there. Probably another economic base as we can see it's next to more blue stuff these other things are by. Uh, more blue stuff warping in the main base. We have a bunch of little of these flying orbs here just flying around, doing their green things. Pretty slow for these units overall. Uh, lots of purple stuff moving out on the mini-map. Little dog-like things moving across the map as well. And, oh, they're going to run into this gigantic pool-looking thing. We do have those three orb-looking things here okay, flying stop over. In the style of a Pokemon battle. <laughs> Man, I cast, I cast StarCraft like it is a Pokemon battle. What are you talking about? We got these awesome oracles flying in here. They're getting their attacks off. What will be the next move of... Uh, Pedal Bar, he has his Spore Collar in production. Move goes back over to Muffly, and these Oracles are just destroying everything with that Pulsar Beam. That is insane, and really, it's just too super effective for Pedal Bar to deal with. He really has no answer at all. He, he's trying to just send out his second Spore uh, Crawler in the mix, but I don't know if it's going to work. It might get completely destroyed here, and here comes those Oracle using that Pulsar Beam. Instead, he went for the uh, slow, tanky type of like the queen, but it did not work, and he has to send out another sport car. Okay, Will stop. Here? In the style of a weather forecast. Well, we have a small chance of Protoss blood falling from the sky here as the sport caller pushes away these oracles. But here we go. We have, a, a, again, a, just the chance of forecast is everywhere as these things are getting destroyed. It looks like, you know... In the in the nation of Pedo Bear, things have calmed down. You know, uh, the the damage was great, but for the most part, uh, you know, people are going to be okay now. You know, there might be a little bit of, of leftover turbulence in in the uh, southern hemisphere, but that that's about it. And in the in the other end of Muflon, you know, he he is just getting things going. You know. Uh, uh, after all the chaos, you know, at, at the neighboring nation, you know, he, he's able to sit back, okay, relax. Stop. And Between now go. and the 11 minute mark, you must turn into a werewolf. Well, we have uh, more gateways warping in here, and uh, he's <clears throat> starting to get things going, and. <clears throat> Woo! That was bad. I apologize to all the Team Wolf. It is fine. There. Okay, stop. Um, in the campest voice you can muster. I have no clue what that word means. Excuse uh, my. In the aura. most, in the most stereotypically gay voice you can muster. Oh. Um. Well, I'm gonna offend so many people here. Every 
potential fan I was about to get I just lost. Uh, well, we have some uh, little snake things looking very fashionable over here as they move around. They are very adorable, and we have a little bit of a rain dance going on with this gigantic balloon. I've always wanted a gigantic balloon, and... Uh, you know, if I had to choose, I'd definitely be these Protoss players, you know, uh, they've got the hipster thing going on with this, you know, futuristic stuff that's a little bit, you know, not everyone else is doing it just yet, and uh, oh man, we got this little Congo line going on right now, okay, that is stop awesome. in the style of Dr. Seuss. <laughs> these are hard, man, you're good. Uh, these Hydras, oh my... These spore crawlers, that guy. <laughs> These sentries, they rule. These oracles, that fool. <laughs> oh man, I'd be a poor Dr. Seuss. Evolution chambers, lairs, expansions. Oh my! That was the Wizard of Oz, that's not Dr. Seuss. Okay, stop in as much of a porn style as you can manage. Wow. Um... Well... We have, uh... The goo is everywhere. We're gonna, we're gonna get this as far and as... as close to penetrating that natural base as possible, and... we're going to get as many men on the field as possible. You know, the more men, the better. Some people aren't really into that, but I love that. I, I love it when we have these massive, massive battles where fluids are flying everywhere and no one has a clue of really what's going on. It's just a bunch of screaming and it, it's like an orgasm of death. And I, I, I just can't wait for that. Okay, final stop in the style of Yoda. Well... Uh, Hydras attack rock. We know what lings do, but Sentry Zealot Colossus pushed forward. He see now with Pylon under attack. Bunch of Hydras speed come forward. Will the force fields be great enough? Colossus Void Ray, force field miss. Hydras micro well as possible. Okay, nice. stop. You may only speak in sentences of four words. No more, no less. Well, that's bad, Zerg. He fleeing very fast. Ling's caught off guard. Lots of them die. Protoss player behind supply. You know, that was bad. That was five. Okay. Four bases for Zerg. Two bases for toss. Zerg has nice bank. Creep spread looking good. Protoss player take third. Decent size army. Okay, okay. stop. <laughs> right, you're going to cast normally, but we're going to play a game called New Choice. Every time I say New Choice, you must change what you have just said to something else. Doesn't have to be accurate, but you must change it, and I can do this as many times as I want. All right. Well, creep spread is actually pretty decent for pedal bar. He's got actually choice. a side. You know, this creep spread, it's okay. It could be better. Uh, he's got a sizable bank right now, floating a lot of minerals. If he was hitting more injects, maybe makes a macro hatch. You New choice. Spend, you know, uh, you know, just bank as much money as possible. New spend choice. You know, I like the way the Zerg player is playing. It's pretty flawless right now. New it's choice. Quite, this Zerg sucks. He needs to spend his money really quickly. Uh, this pros player is knocking on his front door. Four Colossus. Decent amount of sentries. Not very many gateway units, though. He's going to push in here. Uh, Zerg really doesn't have a mu uh, any army right now. He's actually supply. Where is all of his supply at? Oh, it's all at his third base. Sending over his roaches and hydras. He sh might be able to handle this. It all comes New choice. To those, you know, uh, he, he's going to be in some trouble here. It's going to depend on those force fields. New he's choice. Uh, he, he's actually just charging straight into this army. The force fields aren't going down. The Colossus are microing back as well as they can, but they're getting fairly low. And I think the Zerg player might actually be able to clean this up quite well here, only losing a lot of his uh, Hydras, the Roach Counts, and he leaves the game. All right. Congratulations. You did a pretty good job. You had a couple that you struggled with, but overall that was pretty good. Yeah, that was uh, there was a couple in there that 
I can't I believe I couldn't think of my favorite cartoon character. All that came up were like anime ones, and I did not want to like try and pull a Vegeta mid cast. That was not going to work. That is fine. But thank you very much, Zoya, for coming on. And before we go, would you like to uh, give any shout outs to anyone? Advertise yourself in any way. The stage is yours. Well, uh, a big shout out to you. This show is awesome. I'm going to go watch all the VODs for it. I actually didn't hear about it, so uh, people need to start watching this show. It's actually pretty awesome. This was a lot of fun, so shout out to you. So, uh, actually, you just plug yourself. I, I plugged myself during the cast at the beginning, okay? You just just go ahead and plug yourself. That's I am all not I... going to plug myself. There is more than enough of that on my channel, so anyone well, can go check that out. There you go. Follow his channel that this is on. And uh, I plugged myself earlier, just my Twitter. You know, I tweet whenever I'm doing things, so. All right, and because you said you didn't want to try and do it, I'm going to ask you to do it. Would you like to sign us out in the style of Vegeta? Oh, God, I would... I, don't... I can't do a Vegeta. I, it would just... I can't do it. All right, all right, I'll do something different. Uh, sign us out in your best English accent. Oh, God, I'm going to... Every Euro fan out there is going to cry. Um... Chip chap chao, mates! <laughs> <laughs>